Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on global sea level and related parameters. So here I have disabled sea, that's why you don't see any sea here. And here I have enable sea. So if I stop the game, set sea level to minus 2000, enable. So once I enable or disable, you can see the sea plane appear and disappear. And here, now you see, we have the sea in the level that I defined minus 2000 and you can see next to the sea level we have this wet region as well and above that we have this beach size beach level so if I stop and set this to zero you can see the water level rise up and if I simulate now the beach and starts from here so everything is dynamically changing so that's what we are going to work on today and of course this is implemented in the unlimited landscape system that we have worked on so therefore no matter where we go we will have this global sea level before we get started with the tutorial i'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel from my patreon page i'll leave the link in description below and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so to get started let me open my world engine blueprint and here first of all i'll add a new variable c level this should be a float and now there are a couple of places that I need to use this sea level. The first thing is this sea plane. It is at the moment I have set it on 100. So either we can keep this separately or we can put the sea plane inside the world engine itself. I think it would be easier if I just put it inside the world engine itself. So let me copy this mesh well actually i can use any mesh here i'll add a plane i think i'm using this basic shapes plane yeah that's what i already get by default and i'll copy this material and paste it now you can see this c plane so i think i use a very large scale here uh, is it 50,000 yeah 50,000 so uh, I don't think I should set the scale right now to 50,000 because if I do that when I select the world engine blueprint in in the world I it if I focus on it I would be seeing it in a very far distance Therefore, I'll set the scale of the C plane in the begin play. So, I'll also add a boolean enable C. And I'll make it a boolean. Let's define a category. put these C related variables inside there we need enable C, C level and also a C scale this is also needs to be a float and it was 50,000 that's the level I was using so I'll use the same value here okay I'll name this and then let me get rid of this see oh I have a reference but that's fine I'll remove it here we have the C and where should we check this enable C perhaps in construction script branch enable C if C is enabled I can get this C 
accept visibility to visible if the C is disabled set visibility disabled like this and then I have a C level should I call it global C level C level is fine set world location so I only need to change the reset location therefore I'll get world location and then split this he also split it set x and y and as the set level I'll use this C level and as for C scale well yeah what I said is going to happen here when I focus on go I would be focusing on the BP world engine from a very far distance but uh, I don't think we can avoid that set set scale world scale I think we can just put it here like this okay we don't really have anything else happening in the construction script but still if we have we have now common exit point okay now the C is disabled did I make this variables public visible no let me enable them now here we have C if I enable C now you get C and C level is currently at 0 so if I change this to 200 you see it goes up I leave it at 0 also previously I had a system defined to move the C plane along with the character so because this is a in our uh, infinite world therefore we need to move the C as well for that here relocate actors we may have to duplicate this for C but then this relocate actors can sound a bit unsuitable therefore let me cut this where do I call this river locate actors in the tick actually my tick is very low 20 seconds so yeah it's fine get player location and now here instead of the actor location I need to set C location get world location and now how do you set instead of these things and then again get C set world location So I don't want to change the set location, but I do need to change X and Y locations. And I'll collapse this to a function. Let's call it an invalid reference here. So we can obviously delete this, but also as a safety step, I'll put a solid node just in case I forget. Okay. Now the next step is here even if I set C level to 500 now you see it's not updated in the landscape material it's still here we should have more beach so let's fix it now 
for that I am using this landscape material instance which is an instance of this M landscape here we have beach level beach size wet level so this beach level this is the variable that controls the beach level vertical level so instead of making it like that where do we use beach level here let's create a material collection mp global because this is a global material parameter correction collection here I'll add a scalar I'll call it C level by default it is zero now in this M landscape here B, we have beach size and beach level so instead of beach level let's use collection parameter right now beach size perhaps we can also add a parameter for that to another scale beach size I'll make it 200 and also we have this weight level I'll add that also here so weight level is until 150 so weight level means the level that would have wetness in the ground now sea level here I'll use beach size Oh, sorry beach size should be here and wet level should be used here now let's get rid of these variables now we have global variables that control those values so they are in effect now what I can do is when I update this C level from the BP world engine here in the construction script I think it would be better if I collapse this to a function I'll call it update C here update C perhaps parameters that's more descriptive right now we can use this uh, actually we don't need this now because we don't need a return here so we can use this update scalar no, set scalar parameter value and here we can select the no not this one why can't I select the one in the plugin be global parameter C level we can connect C level okay now compile so the C level is here do I see no let me go in well actually it is working but it's exactly here okay so I think I have a problem in my material okay all right sea level and blend region is 200 blend height is sea level I think if I do it like this we should add together this should be the blend height now let's check no still it defines the top so by the time we reach the sea level it's totally grass that's not the way I need so maybe we should increase the 
sea level here sorry beach size to something like 500 yeah that's better that works all right and this uh, grass actually we need to update the height where this grass grow individually for each type of foliage that we have used that means here let me stop here grass clumps height i make it 500 and i'll actually set the sea level to zero that should be better okay see now it's better uh one more thing uh, we it would be better if i connect this wet level to the sea level itself that means instead of calling it wet level i'll call it wet region and then in here wet level i'll use it like this i change to wet region and i'll add it to the sea level so it will be always above sea level see? and as i change the sea level it will be updated automatically to test this let me set the sea level to maybe minus 500 and simulate i will see wet level is here did i apply this okay hold on is it updating it's not updating all right i think even though i am calling it in the construction script i would have to call here to actually get the material parameters updated in the runtime now it should work yeah see see i reduced the weight level to 10 so it's just right after the c level all right now if i play so we can adjust the c level as we need I set it to minus 2000 if I make it a very negative value like minus 5000 we don't have almost no C okay uh, and we forgot to do what happens if I have disabled C I will still see this wet level and beach level so maybe we don't need to have this beach level or anything when we have disabled the C. So what we can do is let's go here and if the C is disabled, I'll I'll set all these variables. Maybe not all of them, just the C level. This one, but I will set it to a very a large negative value something like minus 50,000 perhaps we can add a switch to the material but just for ease I'll just do it this way see now we don't have any see any beach or any wet area okay all right so i think we're gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye